and uh, not very sweet. Uh, basically, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It feels like they put like maybe like a baby chap. I want an eye dropper. There's an eye dropper. Eye dropper. I want a spade. <laughs> but the small one, your science. Okay, eye dropper. Okay. Now I'm going to do a spade, right? But that's like a genius one. Just a little bit. Then they put tonic in it. So not enough alcohol. Not basically. enough alcohol. <laughs> Welcome to Pops and Barrels, your soon to be number one alcohol review channel. As always, I am your host, Isaac Lishama, and today we're going to be reviewing the Black Crown Gin and Tonic Pre Mix. So, guys, as always, you know that if you are watching this channel or you follow the videos, you know that you are here because you are an alcohol enthusiast. You drink spirits, you drink wine, you drink whiskey. <coughs> Oh my God. Premix. Of course. Ish, you're the Premix king. Yeah. Why don't you like the straight things? <sighs> we'll go, I'll, 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 I'll touch up on that later. Don't worry. This is the light stuff. Yeah. Okay. Premixes. So, guys, if you do not drink alcohol, unfortunately, you are in the wrong place. So, we'll just give you a few seconds to just click off this video and live for time. Okay, now I'm assuming that everybody that's watching is an alcohol enthusiast like us. And you know, whenever you consume an alcoholic beverage, it's always better to do it with friends and family. And today, for the season three finale, I have another special guest. It was especially hard to find this man. Check out Twitter. Every single time it was, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, and it never happened. So please, special guest. <laughs> Tell them why it took so long for you to get here. Aye, man, you know I'm a busy man, so yeah. But now, Still, but yeah, today I got today I made time to come through and uh, review this uh, highly anticipated gin and tonic premix. So premix. yeah, I'm, here to I'm, I'm not going to enjoy this. Tell them who you are, man. What do you do? All right, well, uh, the name is Kamal mm -hmm. Odoba, also known as Kavi Leads on all socials. So yeah, I'm not sure if I should tell them what I do. No, don't tell them where you work specifically, but you can say what we. You can say the industry. Okay, if you want to. Basically, I'm in engineering, so yeah, that's that. And, okay, Gabi. Yeah. Today, man, we're going to be reviewing the Black Crown pre mixed gin and tonic. So, what's going to happen now is we're going to go through the general aesthetics of the bottle, the ABV, and then we're going to get into the taste test, which everyone looks forward to. Okay. The only reason why you people are here, apparently, because I let people visit and to drink. And young heads. Then, from there, we're going to give it a rating out of 10. All right. Right? Yeah. Okay. Clear? Okay. okay. So, without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the first segment. Okay, guys. Now, about to get into the first segment, which is the general outer coating and covering and the ABV. Yeah. So, I am very disappointed, first of all, because I don't think we've ever had something as small as this here. 275 millimeters. Quite that, small. That's disappointing for me. Quite small, quite small, but same. If you wanted to give me a shot, I'm going to give one a shot. 270, come on, man. Okay, 5%. Okay, since you're the pre-mix master, I'll let you take point on this, because now, now I read the guys. What do you think about the general packaging? General packaging, I like it. Plain and simple. Uh, black. No, black, black, black. black. Yeah. So basically, I'm, I like, I like, I like the packaging. So let's see where it was made. Oh, yeah. Parkland Center. So it's South African made. Yeah. yeah. A gin that doesn't need extra because it is extra. Okay. Mm -hmm. And not so innocent, innocent land of personality, confidence, and style. When you taste it, you'll know it. The taste of royalty. A taste that's as bold and daring as you are. It's yours. Own it. Own it. So there's even a pregnant lady here. If they cross cross. It says no. Yeah, no, I'll give this. They crossed it off now. I'm not saying. 
the not Ross Perot. We're not, we're not promoting uh, no, yeah, drinking no. during pregnancy. So, yeah, so it says um, here, yeah. 18 sharp, don't drink and drive and don't drink this while you're pregnant. Specifically. Yeah. Okay, okay. So in a cool dry place. Yeah. Right. So I don't think there's anything else we can do. The packaging is this is this right. There's a sticker here. Own your crown. Sort of like the way own your throne yeah, but there's an own your crown clear. There's own your crown. I'm putting on a trademark infringement too. Hey, you we jangle the jewel and lawyer. Okay, okay. Alright. Basically it's design, man. I could say if not, guys, that five percent two seventy-five is short. So <laughs> that's fine. We've gone through it. So now I think we can get into the testers. I know we've been waiting. It's yeah, been, we've been, yeah, been waiting it's been for, what, for three weeks now. Three yeah. weeks. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the actual taste test. Okay, guys, taste test time. This is this this might be this might be the most underwhelming season finale. I think the only nice thing is that you are here. This you want, okay, take that one. Give me one of these. Here's one for you. Uh, okay. okay. Been waiting for three I think if they made it, at least. What's the, what's the last one? Belgravia Premix in work. It's 275. So that's. Yeah. Belgravia Premix in 275. Yeah. So they're all on this side, basically. Yeah. Okay, okay. So. Taste test. Taste test. Cheers. Yes. I'll let you go first. And let me go first. Uh -huh. I need another set. <laughs> so it's, it's nice. It's very nice. It's light. I think you're very right about it replacing my uh, the other drink that I always have. Mm -hmm. No, this so. would definitely no. Once this starts getting popularity, yeah. you replace the Belgravia Premix. Yeah, I think this is quite nice. I mean, yeah, that you can. Yeah. Oh, guys, wait, is it sweet? Does it have tonic? What's it dashed with? With tonic. Gin and tonic. Oh, oh, it's gin and tonic. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Did you guys mention it? Well, we are. Oh, we might have to watch. about to? No, I was. I'm going to have a little chance. No, I was. What about this outside the state? Because you said it's nice. So I'm just like, is it sweet? I want him to take point on that, Angel. Because I'm going to lay as my guest. So, guys, what do you think about the taste? The taste, um, it's not very sweet, uh, basically dashed with tonic, so uh, perfect blend between the gin and the tonic. Uh, perfect blend? Yeah. Okay. And uh, not very sweet, uh, basically I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It feels like they put like maybe like a baby chuck. I wanna eye dropper. There's an eye dropper. Eye dropper. I wanna spade. <laughs> but the small one, your science. Okay, I'll draw. Okay, now I'm going to do the ne? but that's like a genius Just a little bit. Then they put tonic in it. So not enough alcohol. Basically. Not enough alcohol. 5%. It's 5%, so it's guaranteed not to get you drunk. Why would you even... <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. I'm, not, I'm an alcohol enthusiast. Remember, now I like things 40% and over. I really like the taste of this. For me, it's light. Yes, it's only Corona. If you're going to be drinking the light things, and I know what I want. So you'll be able to... Because I want... We're even about Mona. Literally, we took like two sips. Basically, three quarters. Yeah. Okay, I'm very disappointed in the size, though. But it tastes... But, but, but it's the same size as the other, as the other type, so... Maybe because I could buy the premix, no? Yeah, probably. Makes sense. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. It's a light, sweet drink. Not, not sweet. Bad. Okay. No, okay. Light, not sweet. Yeah. Gin basically and tonic. A, basically, a dash of gin and tonic. And tonic. So like one tonic little drop of that gin. Tonic. One little drop of gin. But honestly, it's, it's, it's <laughs> not bad. So yeah. there's no five percent in it. Hmm. He says it's key. It's he, he probably thinks percent. that it's less than five percent. I honestly and feel like two percent from Savannah. So that is like seven, and then it lost you out. So if you cannot taste it, is it like far from Savannah? Okay, I think, man. Based off of based off of me, the thing is, that I can't make myself the barometer here because <laughs> now nah, I'm way over here. Yeah, like, so <laughs> that's why I need my guest to tell me how many do you think you need to get you at least tipsy? Tipsy, maybe six. What work is fun. It's a small bottle. 
small packaging. So, <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, okay. Yes. So, okay. Then, so, if you if you are better on the wild side, you can dash this with the actual vodka or uh, gin. So, ne? yeah. See, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yes. Use this as a dash for the actual gin. Why did I think of that? Oh, that's why. That's why you have the guest for the season finale. Yeah. Oh, I knew there's a reason why. <laughs> Okay, guys, so uh, how much do you think Black Crown will cost you? Black Crown. Keeping in mind that when I bought this, it came like in Kaka K74. Okay, so I'm going to give you the 24. Came in Kaka K74. Yes. Um, considering what I know, uh, should I tell you what I know or what I don't? You can tell what you know. Okay, basically, uh, was at Tops yesterday and I came across this bottle. <laughs> So remember, guys, so we are introducing you to so things. Normally, we have paid normally I would have passed it. Normally, I wouldn't even had a second look at it, but because I knew what I was going to come uh, review here by Hops and Barrels, I then stopped and had a look at it. Bought even a six, uh, five, four to the edge, uh, mm-hmm. not to drink or taste it. Uh, drink it. Drink uh, it. But, um, yeah, uh, when it comes to the price, I'd basically say, when I, I know, I know what the price is. Yeah, yeah. So, we, let's so go in there, we bought a six. 90 bucks, yeah. 90, 90 bucks per six. 90 bucks per uh, six. But for 24, then that would be 90 times four, basically. Yeah, so it would be my... 360 plus minus. Plus minus. So, and I have also realized something. Then you suck at bottom of it. Hmm? No, and I'm not. Okay. This is for my first. This is the first. Yeah, this is for my first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, man, you are you are close. Yeah. It is around the three sixties and those. Yeah. So now, I think now let's give it a rating. Let's give it a rating out of ten. Na kifata. Kifata. Because of the lies, they are five percent. This is non-alcoholic. I've only had one non-alcoholic drink so far. One of this good friend of mine is used to 60% plus beverages. So when you give him something like 5%, that's why I say feel. Right? Mm. So for me, I'd basically give it a uh, 7. Uh, the packaging is good. Now, like said, the packaging like, is good. The packaging is nice. I like yeah. The packaging is very nice. Okay. Um, the taste is good. Yeah. Not as sweet as Belgravia, your basically your basic gin and tonic. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm enjoying it. So I think it may just may just, may just replace. May just replace. <laughs> okay. As long as there is a difference. Okay, I was like because even I, the, because even the the bottle size is still the same, the alcohol volume is still the same. Mm-hmm. So might just change us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. Okay. I think I okay I was playing, not a three. I also give it a seven. Now I, I think the two is great. Let me guide the place. Definitely. Guide the place until the graduate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, no. I'll give it a seven as well. From three to seven. No, I was playing. That's how influential I am. That's how influential. That's I am. how influential I am. I turned a seven. I turned a three. I turned a seven. I turned a seven. I turned a and I'm saying, no, no, okay. and I'm not turning off because I really am not about to drink something that has no alcohol. If I'm trying, but there's like five percent. You said you can't taste it, guys. I, I can't. Plus, guys, he can. He's a so that's why you guys, the seven makes sense for me. It's still a three, but I'm agreeing with my guest okay. for the guest purposes oh, of the seven. So for for me, actually. it's still a three. So if you are a real alcohol enthusiast, Kavi doesn't really Kavi is gonna have like six of these and then Uto Maru to work out chain. Do not because, be because this show is all about drinking responsibly and, and living, living responsibly. Yes, right? Wow, yeah. we're gonna yes. cut that out. Fucking studio we're gonna cut Jesus. <laughs> applause. Yeah. People that actually watch the show. Yes. So, so, so basically, yes. A seven for me. Uh, packaging is great. So, I basically, love it. And you need a favorite it's creamy working. drink. All right, guys, it's working. So, guys, that was Black Crown Gin and Tonic, the premix. Do you mention that it's South African make? Yeah. 
I didn't want it but, CB, uh, but I get yeah. don't forget just because it's produced in doesn't mean that it's made in but it says product of so yeah. it's South African so it's local yeah We're trying to promote the local brand so go out get yourself black crown I really want to see not out of badge out of badge this is going to the place definitely Definitely. yes and the fact that it's easily accessible uh, so <clears throat> let's believe mm-hmm. uh-huh. so guys there you have it black crown gin tonic that was the review. That was the season three finale. Thank you, guys, for being here yes. after so long. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to start about season one, two. You were supposed, yeah. You were supposed to do season one, miss season two, and miss season one, miss season two. Almost miss season. Three. Almost miss season three. But yeah, finally uh, made it here. Yeah. Do you have anything to plug before we close? Basically, I uh, want to plug my family business. Uh, Letter Chemicals. Uh, do hit us up for all your. Uh, orders for household manufacturing detergents. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram at Kavilets, and I'll give you more information. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, there you have it. Until the next review, remember, I am your host, Azik Lishaba, and this is my guest, Kavi. And it's not just about drinking responsibly, it's about living responsibly. Cheers! Yeah, you know. I need another one. <laughs> <laughs> Studio audience applause. What's up? Yeah. Oh, 20, so it's 2017 now, 19, 2017. 2021. Yeah, you can stop it. Wait, that button with that, yes. <laughs>